Hi everyone, it's the Photo Angel, Kate Kelly. Today I'd like to share with you four types of photos that I typically come across while working on the Photo Angel project. First, we have the photo with no information on it. Second, we have the photo with just a name. Third, we have the photo with just a location. And last, we have the photo with a first name, last name, and location. Those are the photos that I look for when I go to the antique stores. So let's take a look. First, we have the photo with no identifying information on it. And these make me sad. I would love to return this photo to a family member, but there's no information on it. No name, no location, no starting point. I don't use photo recognition technology, so at this point in time, there wasn't much you can do with a photo with absolutely no information on it. The second type of photo that I come across is the photo with just a name. So here we have this beautiful graduation portrait of this young woman, and her name is Kay Reagan. So even though there's no location, you do have a starting point. And if the surname is atypical, chances are you'll meet with greater success. For example, if you pick up a photo at an antique store that says John Smith on it with no location, that's like looking for a needle in a haystack. <laughs> the third type of photo that I come across is the photo that has a location, but no name. So here's an example of a cabinet card taken at a portrait studio in East Boston, Massachusetts, but we don't know who the gentleman is. So what can you do with a photo like this? Well, you do have a couple of options. You could send the photo to the Historical Society. Historical societies, in my experience, have been hit or miss. Some welcome the photos while others are doing their best to manage the inventory that they already have. So they can't take them. Another option, if you're on Facebook, is to join the Facebook group of the city or town where the photo was taken. Sometimes there are relatives in that, those groups. And last, but certainly not least, is the photo that has everything you want on it. It has the first name, the last name, and the location. So here we have this cute little guy from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And his name on the back, his name is George E. Rudy. And this is nice because it has a middle initial. So that's what I look for when I go to the antique store. So I hope this video helps and good luck in your research. I look forward to seeing you in the Photo Angel Facebook group. Have a great day.